does it bug you when there's a wind going and it blows the water onto you? I've got a way to fix that this week on Kayak Axe. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, we cover kayak modifications, spin, and fly fishing. So poke that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now, let's get on with it. So I heard about this stuff called Neverwet, and it claims that it creates a super hydrophobic surface on various materials, including plastic. So I'm going to test that on my paddle. And the result I hope to get is that after this is coated with the Neverwet, and you got to do it in two coats, that it will create a surface that will keep water from dripping from the paddle. In other words, what I expect to see is that when this paddle comes up out of the water, there should be no drips on it because theoretically, the water will not stick to it long enough to create the drips. And what this means to me is that water will no longer blow onto me while I'm paddling or drip on my legs and things like that, which is an issue when the weather's just a little bit nippy. Not so bad here in the summer. So I'm going to go do the process right now. First, the first thing is I've cleaned it with soap and water. I've got a good clean. And just for the experiment, I'm not going to treat this side of the paddle. And we'll be able to see exactly what the results are. The instructions say I'll get the optimal performance if I put on two light coats of the base step and multiple coats of the finish step. Now for the top coat. All done. Let's see if it works. I've got access to a pool and I decided It'd be better to see if that never wet worked under a controlled environment on a good camera angle rather than in a random camera angle uh, on my kayak. So this is the side that was not treated. Let's see how it looks when I stick it in the water and then we'll do the treated side. Here's the untreated side. Plenty of drips coming off it, each of which could blow onto your lap on a windy day. Or what really bugs me is when it runs down the side here, especially when you have your paddle tipped way up and it's going to run over this, like when you're kind of digging your way through some mud. Now let's try the treated side. One more shot on this. Plenty of drips. Here's the treated side. Whoa, check that out. No drips. This hack is cool. Not a single drip coming off that paddle. I do notice that it's a little bit tacky here where I put it on. So when you do this, probably ought to keep the treatment up in this area of the paddle and not go down as far as I did over here. But this is an absolute winner. Look at that. Never wet. Do you have a better solution to avoiding drips on paddles? Throw them in the comments below. I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks.